Hello, my name is Don Kerouac and I'm a Corporate Systems Engineer for the Data Mobility and Business Unit at EMC. Today I'd like to talk to you about vPlex and VMware. VMware customers face a number of challenges today in their environments. They'd like to minimize RPO and RTO, eliminate planned and unplanned downtime for their applications, and they also want to maximize their resource utilization. They don't want to have passive assets at one site or the other. What we have here is a typical VMware environment consisting of two sites, Site A and Site B. Site A is where the applications would tend to run your primary data center, as some would refer to it. Within that site, you'd use vMotion, DRS, and high availability delivered by VMware to allow applications to stay online in the event of a server failure, or in the event of scheduled maintenance, you'd want to move a workload from one place to another, you could use vMotion. Uh, underneath uh, ESX, you have one or more data stores that are used to store the virtual machines that your applications run on. Uh, in a typical VMware environment, uh, one data store would live on one physical disk uh, on one storage array. Um, at the second site, um, Site B, an identical setup. Uh, at Site B, the same capabilities exist, but the resources there are passive are only running at this site if there's a failure at the primary site. With vPlex, what we're able to do is take these capabilities that I've shown you for Site A and Site B and now provide HA, DRS, and vMotion across these sites. So now, capabilities that were delivered within a single site can now be delivered across sites, giving you the ability to non-disruptively move applications not only within one data center, but across. In addition, the storage layer is extended across sites by vPlex. vPlex provides a single view of storage to the ESX servers. They're all able to see the same disk, access the same VMFS data store, and move v VMs between sites non-disruptively. In addition, vPlex is able to do mirroring within a site, so if I have a failure at this site, I can still run off another mirrored leg here, or at site B, I can access storage here. So regardless of where I have a storage failure, my application can continue to run at site A. In addition, I no longer have passive assets at this site. Because I'm treating everything as a single data center, I now have active resource utilization at site B. So from a VMware perspective, it's all one site, easy to manage, non-disruptive movement within and between sites. So let's summarize the benefits for VMware with vPlex. Number one, we're extending HA, using it across multiple sites. We're now active-active across data centers and allowing us to use CPU, util CPU resources at both data centers effectively. We're eliminating planned downtime and unplanned downtime because now we are protected by having mirrored storage at two locations. Finally, we have automatic failover with HA. No human decision is involved. HA just restarts the VM at the second site. If you have any questions about this technology, please contact your EMC sales rep or go to emc.com. Thank you for your time today.